All right, what's going on guys? So here we are. I got this in the mail. So uh, basically what this is, is it's a replacement spacebar for my Corsair RGB strafe keyboard um, with the MX silent keys and everything because I was having issues with this textured spacebar. This textured spacebar really irritates the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Which I did mention, let me put you guys down here. This is really extremely impromptu. So essentially the space bar has like this weird texture on it and the texture that's on it, I just can't stand. Um, it really bothers my thumb um, whenever I'm hitting the space bar, like especially when typing, like when I'm gaming, it doesn't seem to bother me as bad. But whenever I'm typing and I, I hit the space bar, I like slide my thumb a little bit on the space bar and it just almost feels like it's numbing my, the tip of my thumb, if that makes any sense. Uh, I know I'm weird. My buddy tells me I'm weird about it all the time. He says it doesn't bother him one bit. Everybody's different. So I went to this website and it is uh, maxkeyboard.com and I actually found some people on Reddit who had the same issue. They hated the textured keyboard or the space bar. So somebody had posted this website and got a uh, space bar from them. I believe it's a, I think it's a 6.2, something like that. I don't, I, I can't re exactly remember. I'll, I'll have, I'll put it up on the screen or whatever. I can't remember the exact size that I ordered I didn't get one with the little RGB slit in it because I really don't care. Um, it's literally the tiniest, the tiniest spot ever um, as far as the light shining through. So most of the light that you get from the space bar is coming from underneath the space bar in that little tiny cut that's in the top of the keyboard or the space bar. So I don't really care. So essentially, I wanted to replace it because it's extremely irritating. So it comes in this little Ziploc bag inside of the actual shipping envelope and I am going to replace it. So see, you notice how it doesn't have the little cutout in it? it doesn't have a little cutout in it for the RGB light to shine through. Um, it feels good. I mean, it's a, a space bar, plastic. So basically what I'm going to do let me see if I can angle this down a little bit here and get a good angle. So this key or this space bar, right, space bar right here is what I'm replacing. So you see how it has like the tiniest little slit in it for the RGB? Don't really care, but it has that texture on it and that texture drives me insane. So I have heard from people who have replaced it that it causes some, or they have like a lot of issues with breaking the stabilizer that's in it. Um, when you pull the key off with the keycap puller that came with the keyboard, which is what I'm going to be using. So I've heard that when they were, you gotta be really, really careful to not break the stabilizer. Otherwise your space bar is gonna rock all over the place and make horrible noises when you're typing. So basically I'm making this video just to show you, hopefully if I don't break it myself, how you can pull it off, switch out that space bar if you want to, and put it all back together again. So, come join me. Okay, so I'm gonna first start off by saying I'm really sorry if I bump the desk and it shakes the camera around because obviously I'm gonna be working on it and I don't know if it's gonna really be extremely shaky video or not, but this is what I got to work with, so this is what I'm working with. So I got the, the replacement space bar, and we are going to start by trying to pop this thing off. I don't know if I should unplug the keyboard before I do this or not, but I think I'm just gonna leave it plugged in, and we'll see how it goes from there. So here we go. I'm gonna start by pulling off the one side first, and then I think I'm gonna go and switch to the other side, hopefully. It's giving me some issues about getting this other piece. There you go. I'll 
we'll pull up on that side. And I think I'm gonna try to pull up in the middle. Actually, weird. There's no stabilizer bar in it. It's literally just straight across. So I don't know how well you can see that. Lighting's all not that great right now, but it's literally just peg, peg, peg. And that's it. And then of course the replacement just has peg, peg, peg. So that's really weird. If that's all it is, I don't know how people are breaking them. It's literally springs on the side and then the centerpiece. So I'm gonna try to get down a little bit lower here so I can make sure I line everything up. I, mean, I guess I could see you maybe not getting these things lined up right and that breaking maybe. So I'm just gonna push down, give it some pressure, make sure it's all the way on, and there you go. Oh, that is a dream. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So there it is. Smooth space bar, and here is the old one with that horrible texturing on it. Oh, I hated that. Why Corsair? Why? So now I got the smooth space bar on there. I am a happy camper. So this has been Josh for Techtopia TV, just showing you how easy it is to swap out this cruddy space bar with the stupid texturing on it. So if you have one of these keyboards, maybe it's the Maybe it's the other strafe or the K70s or something maybe that have like a weird little metal stabilizer bar in it. I know my Quickfire Rapid, when I swapped out the key for that one, it had, uh, or no, I didn't swap out the keys, I put the O-rings on it um, so it didn't bottom out. That one had stabilizer bars, like metal, these metal like, um, these metal spring pieces on it that went on the space bar and the shift and uh, enter keys, I think is what it was. But um, yeah, this one didn't have it. This one literally just had the two pegs on the sides and then the peg in the center for the actual um, Cherry MX silent switch. So this was super easy and I'm glad I did it because, wow, it's like a whole new keyboard. All right, guys, this has been Josh with Techtopia TV swapping out my space bar, my Corsair Strafe RGB with MX silence. See you in the next one.